we've introduced a brand new tool called the Data Visualization Cloud Service. You can do analysis, and there are only two guiding principles to it. You only need to have a spreadsheet, and you only need to have a browser. You load your data with spreadsheets. You do an analysis from a browser or a phone. And we're going to show it to you. So you're not having any problems with the loyalty app? No, not at all. It's a huge success. Actually, now we want to go national with it. But before we do that, we need to understand a lot more about the customers using it. So we're talking about demographics, usage patterns, which stores we would target for sales and why. So we're collecting some of that data now on our e-commerce site. But it sounds like you want to include store sales as well. Yes, store sales. And it needs to be analyzed and displayed, you know, on some kind of dashboard with nice visuals so we can quickly spot trends. You can do that, right? Well, yeah, it can be done. Will be done? <laughs> Will be done. So Basu, Thomas. welcome to Open World. Thank you very much, Thomas. Great to be here. So we're going to help Bob. Absolutely. And you've only got a credit card. Yeah. You don't have access to a data warehouse or data mark. Yes. And we're going to do this analysis and help him. Let's try that. How are we going to do that? So I'm in sales ops. I'm, I'm not even a BI guy. OK, so Bob called me. He was really stressed out. And he said, hey, why don't you guys get started with your analysis right now? And he told me Oracle has this cool service called Oracle Data Visualization Cloud Service. I went to oracle.com. So you went and to shop.oracle.com, which is yes, our store. Absolutely. OK, and similar and to I, all of our past services, you're going to buy it online. I'm going to buy it online. I bought one for my VP, one for myself, some, one my, and a few for my team. $750 a month. I can put it on my credit card. And I place an order right there, just like any web order. And I had this up and running the same day. OK. So back to work. So I'm a team player. So I use Oracle Social Network to keep in touch with everybody. It's like Facebook. Um, and it looks like I have a message from my boss, Ashley. So she's saying she's been playing with some data. You know, we've been introducing this new product called Columbian Instant to a test market. It's a and brand new coffee brand? It's a brand new coffee brand. So, okay. um, and she's been playing with some sales data. You know, and she's saying it's time to expand. We've been doing well. Um, and she also says she wants me to come up with the next list of stores to expand to. So she wants an ordered list of stores to call upon where there's the best opportunity to sell this new brand. Yes, and she wants to be smart about it, not just right. every stores. But okay. she's always demanding. She wants it in the next hour, you know? Um, you know I, I, don't, I don't blame her. I mean, it's a lot of uh, you know, pressure to get this going. But I think we can get it done. So I'm going to respond that I will do that. But I need to start with some data. So where will I get that? Well, I'm just going to start from whatever she sent me. Maybe if it's good for her, it's good for me. So I'm just going to open the analysis right there. And it opens it in my database cloud service. Let's see what she has done. So she has gotten sales data for the last several weeks for all our products. That's on the charts up above. Um, that looks great. And she also has this cool radar chart. So what this is showing me is how the sales have been doing for every day of the week. So Fridays have been great. Sundays have not been so great. Uh, she also put together a nice map showing stores in the test area and revenue. OK, I'm going to get started. So I do that by putting this in edit mode so I can start playing with the data. I want to focus on this new product. So I'm going to put a filter on Columbian Instant. I click here and select Columbian Instant. It excludes all the other data, just keeps Columbian Instant. OK, so I'm going to change this a little bit. I don't like the way this looks. I like area charts better. They are much more cleaner. I want more space for my map right here. I'm going to kind of you know, drag and move this. Uh, so it gets a better, better layout. OK, so my job is to find the next best stores. But for that, I need to find out what is driving the sales here, right? We've got to play detective, OK? So the first theory I have uh, is maybe certain retailers are doing really well. Okay. So here the retailers, it's colored by retailers on your left uh, charts. So we we'll click on the first retailer, Aroma Club. We see all the stores they've been doing and how they've been doing. So some have been doing great, some have not been doing so great. How about the next one, Drogers? The same story there. So some stores are doing well, some stores are not doing well. Um, the next retailer, too few stores. The next one, same story there. But I found something. 
I found that you know, I can't just focus on retailers. Well, it's actually a useful insight, right? It By visualizing useful. the data, we found that every store and every part of the Bay Area had some that were doing well and some Absolutely. that were not. So I want to record that. You know, I want to share that I've actually gone through this analysis and, and record that. Now, just click on this light bulb. I say not due to retailers. So it saves all this layout and the analysis for me to go back and show anybody. And so if Ashley calls you saying, why didn't you say it was retailer, you just say, look at this analysis. Absolutely, all I can right. do that. So I'm going to go to my next theory. For that, I'm going to delete these two visualizations, um, focus on geography. So I'm going to look at maybe it's all urban people that buy this. Yeah. or maybe rural, so I'm going to kind of get this analysis going. So for that, I'm going to get a list of stores ranked by revenue. I just drag and drop, and it automatically puts this beautiful chart. Um, I select retailer to color this. That looks awesome. Actually, I want, I want it to be oriented you know, the other way, vertical, so taller pillars or more revenue. So that's beautiful. OK, I click on the largest bar. Looks like a store in South San Francisco has been doing the best. Uh, but let's see all the stores that have been doing reasonably well. So I select all of those guys and see they're all over the place. You can see some in rural areas, uh, some in urban, some in suburban. So I found something, but still not the answer. Okay. So I'm going to record this so you know, I can tell the story later. So I say not due to geography. Okay. Right? So I'm going to save that. And let me look at what else I can play with. So I look at this. Actually, I don't have much else to play with. Uh, so it's sort of stuck. You yeah, I'm kind of stuck. Data. So yeah, uh, demographics would be great. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to ask my coworkers. Now I'm a team player. We have social network right here. I'm going to ask my coworkers if they have some demographics data. You know, the loyalty app we just built must have some demographics data. Okay. And something interesting happened. So social network is telling me to add Julian, who is, happens to be the project manager for the loyalty app. So it's not just a collaboration environment. No. It actually can help you find the expert. Actually, it knows that. You know, loyalty conversations involve Julian, so it's asking me to recommend her, include him in the conversation, bring him in, and he sends me a file. It's a spreadsheet of loyalty data dump from our transaction to the loyalty app. All right. So how do I get this into my analysis? That's the question. And actually, this is pretty simple in this tool. You know, I can just click Add Data Source. I don't have to do ETL or call someone you know, to do this. I just click on Add Data Source. It's going to scan all the columns in here, um, you know, classify them and even match them to my data I got. So it actually found a match. So it found the store ID to be the common column between the two data sets. It's already joined these two uh, files, and I have it for analysis right now. So okay. it actually parsed the Excel. Absolutely. Found patterns in the data. Yes. And then what happens next? Yeah, actually, before that, I want to show you one thing. So I haven't even seen the file, so I want to kind of check the data if it's OK. And this tool allows me to just go there and even change data if I wanted to. Wow, so you can actually edit a spreadsheet, fix the data, yeah. and load it. Yeah, that's great. All right. right now, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going back to go back to my analysis, and I'm going to use age groups to, to see if something to do with age groups. Right? I drag and drop in the color. I think there's some pattern here. Let me change the chart type. Look, this is, this is pretty obvious, isn't it? The stores that have a lot of revenue have a lot of green in them. Mm -hmm. Right? So what is green? So green turns out to be age group 25 to 35. Those right. are the ones driving the revenue here. So I just say keep selected. And I have my next insight. I got something, and this time I think it's going to work for me. All right. Right? So I'm going to uh, save this insight also, so I can tell a story later, saying, hey, the driver for the sales is age group 25 to 35. I save that. Getting from here to coming with a list of stores to expand is very easy. I just got to go and change the filter, eliminate the Bay Area from there, and include the entire list of stores in the region. When I do that, you see we've got about 600 stores. They're all ranked based on spend from this um, demographic. I'll just select the top uh, 100 or so stores and mark them for uh, our expansion. So I'm going to just keep selected. You can do it right there. And you can see the map and this chart filters down to only the stores I'm, I'm interested in. I see a cluster of stores in Los Angeles area. I'm going to zoom in to kind of draw attention to that. OK, let, that, that, that looks great. OK, so I'm going to color this chart by retailers so it can kind of see at a glance the mix of retailers. It's kind of different from what we saw in the Bay Area. Yeah. And also, she'll want a list of stores and addresses and that stuff to share with the retailers. So I'm just going to drag and drop those columns down there. And that's my analysis. So I've found what stores we should expand to next. 
I need to now uh, save this. I'm just going to save this uh, and um, call it new stores and let Ashley know about it. She's my boss. So yeah, in the same social network, I'll tell her, here are the next best stores for Colombian Instant. OK? I got my job done. OK, Ashley is going to see it on her mobile yeah, phone. Yeah, she's always on her phone. OK. And she's always uh, moving about. So let's see how it looks there. All right. So the social network app is also on her phone. Uh, she gets this message right there. Uh, she can just open it like that. And it opens in database cloud services, fully on mobile, fully interactive. Uh, she can change stuff. She can, for example, click on the map, you know, zoom and uh, pan if she wants to. Everything is f flexible and fluid. She can do further analysis. She's meeting this retailer called Drogers, and she may want to filter the data for Drogers. So she, just, she can just search, type the name of Drogers. Yes, there's a match right there. I click, she clicks on it, create a filter on that. So that filters the rest of the analysis only for Drogers. So, so as she walks into the meeting with Drogers, she can just pull up the store list uh, and share it with them. Uh, uh, the plans for expansion. Hey, you helped Bob out. Absolutely, they're going to have a great quarter. And you had a credit card? Yep. A browser? Yep. And a spreadsheet? That's it. Wonderful. Thank Fantastic. you very much, Thomas. Thank you, Vasu.